No. Para mí era, a mí me gusta estar con gente. He, he felt it's, it's almost having a stage. No? Mm -hmm. Teaching music is, is, in that sense, not different from being on a, in a restaurant playing your own music, where people talking and drinking and, and do whatever they want to do in a restaurant. So he was teaching music, not giving a, a, a show, but uh, people could come and even watch or... No, and, and see what he was doing. But uh, it, for him it was even lifting up the, the way he was teaching because it was almost being on a stage, doing it. <laughs> También en el Perú, cuando estás chico y, y, este, y quieres aprender a tocar un instrumento, te vas con unos amigos a aprender a tocar, pero al costado están jugando fútbol, o están patinando, o están saltando. Y estás ahí en el medio de gente, entonces me traía como un recuerdo de cómo lo hacía yo cuando era niño. ¿no? I even said it, it, it felt like when he was uh, learning the music, it was always around people that were doing other things, football, playing, no? And, yeah. So yes. he, he learned the same way as his kids, with a bit of background noise. Yes. Y por supuesto necesitábamos hacer reclame. Entonces empecé a hacer algunas sesiones de foto para poder, este... Eh, eh, hacer las actividades de, 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 ¿no? <laughs> so then again the creativity of, of how do I present myself uh, in this restaurant doing what I do so he, this is one of the photos he, he took to also uh, put up some flyers no, that he was teaching music there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very difficult <laughs> Eh, y este hacía lo, las actividades. These are the uh, workshops he did in the restaurant. So, uh, and free. there, of course, also parents came to ask, "Are you the one teaching the music?" And then there was network. No? Yes, it's a good combination. This is a restaurant. And uh, ah, yeah. Marco, Entonces, <laughs> play with 50, this guy. Ya nos pasamos de los 50 mm. a los 80 mm. alumnos, más o menos. No, 60 mm. alumnos, yeah. más o menos. Y yo este, eh, eh, estaba empezando a, a darme cuenta de que yo ya no podía este, manejar a todos, todos los horarios, todo el tiempo, porque teníamos dos hijitos. Entonces empezó el tiempo donde empezamos a buscar profesores para que puedan este, trabajar con nosotros, ¿no? Y él fue uno de los primeros. Yeah, Marco is one of the first uh, teachers that uh, was joining the team because Avera was uh, in that time having 50, almost 60 students a week. We had two very small children, so it was busy. And also he could never fall sick because otherwise uh, he would miss the classes. Marco graduated in the conservatory here. Yeah, I'm Marco playing with him a lot, here. yeah, yes. <laughs> well from Colombia. Here. So um, he joined uh, sometime in Ginger and Hill yes. uh, to teach classes also. Yeah. Um, y, y así estuvimos trabajando juntos. Luego, este, arriba de nuestro edificio estaba el... el... Ah, ya. Yeah. Eh, cuando estaba chico eh, y tocaba en conciertos, un día organicé un concierto en un local que se llamaba El Florentino. Y en este local, este bar, eh, yo llegué temprano antes de mi concierto y cuando fui atrás al camerino eh, me quedé en el camerino y adelante había un, un, una aufuria, una presentación de unos alumnos que estaban tocando este, sus canciones clásicas y atrás yo veía atrás del camerino que los niños estaban bien asustados ¿No? uh, pausa okay, okay. <laughs> so uh, he's uh, going back into time, time where he was organizing a concert in Peru Um, and when he came early, he saw that uh, in the back there was a presentation of students of music, of a music yes. school in Peru. Yes. And, he, uh, and they were uh, playing classical songs. But he saw that all the kids were very uh, nervous going on stage. Porque ellos tenían que salir al escenario y tenían que sentarse a tocar una, un instrumento delante de todos los papás de todos los otros niños que lo estaban mirando él solo y no les gustaba para nada, ¿no? Um, and I think you all know, uh, I know from my childhood the way I learned music was the same way and it's uh, when you have a presentation there's a big, uh, all the, the parents are sitting there and you are going on stage alone or maybe with two or three and you play your instrument 
and it, it is something that is very scary and sometimes yes. children even don't want to do it because it's too scary no yes it's, it's a, a lot of people y justo arriba del restaurante de Ginger Grill estaba War Child, así que decidimos organizar un concierto con todos los estudiantes como final de temporada y tocar todos juntos para War Child y recolectar este donaciones. ¿no? So instead of, a, of, of doing a presentation that was no uh, that you normally do with a music school, he decided to um, organize a concert for War Child. So it had a, a, a Uh, an extra aim of, of uh, generating donations for War Child, and then that all the kids could play together as a, a huge orchestra, uh, so you're not alone on stage. Yes, that's 2019, no? 2000. In 2019. Yeah. Yes, 2019. Uh, and so, so there are all the parents, and here are the students. You have a Yes. Y los y, y los niños así no tenían ningún temor porque estábamos todos juntos, ¿no? So there we could play all together. And there's a... <laughs> One more time, but a bigger screen. Nice. So everybody could play together. I think this is uh, something that is very typical of uh, Adelon. He makes sure that all the students, no matter what your uh, age is or what your um, level of playing is, so you can be very advanced or you can be just a beginner, he makes sure that um, the the songs that you rehearse for a concert, you can do in your own level. Uh, so there's people playing advanced and there's uh, children playing just one chord, but they all play together. Hmm. Y junto a esto formamos el, el plan B, que era músicos del barrio. Ah, yeah, this is the result. Yeah. 1,000 euro, euro for a workshop. Yes. Yeah. Content, ah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Y, y este, aquí armamos también, por acá está Marco Antonio, acá, a Marco, Marco Antonio, Marco Antonio, ¿lo ves? No, no se ve. Yeah, they, they don't know Marco Antonio Aquí because Marco Antonio. He, he's graduated a long time ago, the same year that I. Yeah. Y aparte, los músicos, las personas que están arriba y otros músicos acá abajo, es, eh, formamos un, un, una comunidad que se llamaba Plan B, que, eran que son músicos del barrio que tienen otros trabajos y otras dedicaciones y quiere participar como voluntarios del proyecto como orquesta. So um, he needed some some backup for uh, uh, the children, people that can play or know music and also some different instruments, so it would sound more as an orchestra. So he decided to. Um, um, uh, I know the kids. Yeah, yeah, invite invite music musicians. Uh, in the neighborhood and just to see if they wanted to join for the for this event and then he, he was uh, having rehearsals with them and then uh, some rehearsals all together so that's why you hear some bass player and some drums and some so those are uh, people from the neighborhood that mm -hmm. wanted to join y ahí vi, ahí nos dimos cuenta que nosotros teníamos una fuerza entonces decidimos nosotros formar, formar nuestra propia este eh, nuestra propia stifting, ¿no? nuestra propia organización llamada este Abelo Perú Foundation. So this is where we uh, decided that we can always choose a no a war child or any other uh, company that we are going to play for, but maybe it's even nicer if we have our own foundation, Abelo Perú Foundation that Um, we try to generate money to give uh, music classes in in the desert of Peru for free. Free for free. So uh, that's uh, actually the year where we decided to have our own foundation, yeah. and that the concerts of the music school 
Y como la escuela tiene sus propios ingresos, todo lo que genere los conciertos, todos somos voluntarios. Entonces, Niña y yo y otras personas y los músicos de Plan B, todos los músicos somos voluntarios para los conciertos para poder generar este, eh, donaciones, ¿no? So these are the volunteers of the, the foundation, and then there's the, the musicians that uh, join the concert. Those are also vol volunteers uh, during the, the rehearsals and during the concert. Sí. Entonces, este, eh, y también juntamos un grupo más de docentes. Entraron tres docentes más. A acá ya nos estamos preparando para el siguiente concierto y estamos preparando canciones donde los niños, como los niños, los alumnos estaban tocando y vieron que el concierto salió bien, eso los motivaba a tocar y también a querer cantar. Y probaban cantar incluso en español, ¿no? So, uh, no se va. Translate for yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So, Uh, then the students did their first concert. They were very motivated because you know, they, they learned that one, they could do a concert and play all together with lots of musicians. And then second, they could generate money for a, a, a for war child. And then they also got motivated to sing during playing, which was also, is also something that not everybody likes doing. But then they, they were, Yeah, they, they learned. It's nice if we can sing even in a different language. Y preparamos entonces el siguiente concierto. So this was the first, then the first concert for the Avelo Peru Foundation uh, in a, a school nearby uh, uh, where the classes are taught. So, um, um, yeah, this was February 2020, one yes. month before the lockdown. Yes, <laughs> one month before first the lockdown. lockdown. Yeah. Y este, y acá está el <laughs> So this is the rehearsal in the school. como dirigente de un proyecto también no estaba planeado pero finalmente yo estaba haciendo So that's when um, he felt okay now I'm no longer the musician behind I have to be uh, what's the dirigente uh, the conductor, of, conductor. Uh, of the conductor. so he he was conductor conductor <laughs> So this was during the concert. The kids were asked to bring a head. So it was the yeah, pero acá, acá importante decir es que los que se sientan adelante mío son los, los alumnos del nivel 1. Acá ya teníamos niveles. Habíamos decidido crear nivel 1, nivel 2, nivel 3. Y conforme te sientas más atrás, sabes un poco más y necesitas menos que yo te, que yo te ayude. No. So here you can see also the, um, he's saying the kids that knew were very beginners, they sit in front on the lower row. Then if you were level two, you sit a bit higher and then there's level three and four, you, you don't need a veto so much. So he can still uh, try and help the beginners. And then the others are more behind. Y ahí se formaron los niveles so that's when, when Avelo also decided um, that his teaching method was actually for different levels. Yes. Mm -hmm. He started to notice, hey, this is the way I teach. No? Yeah. I, I, I make them grow. Also, it can be the same song, but you grow 
Y empecé a escribir todo también porque. Yes, I've just maybe I'm ahead of your story, but uh, you you now in a, a different uh, place, right? Because you grow. No, you you are ahead. Because yeah. That's okay. Was, uh, corona. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y, es, eh, y, y también ahí me di cuenta que necesitaba estructurar y más o menos dirigir, enviar la información a todos porque los profesores, eh, los niños ya habían aprendido durante años un sistema, y, pero los profesores no lo entendían. Entonces empecé a escribir todo para poder informar a todos cómo es que más o menos vamos con la estructura, ¿no? Yeah, of course, when, when you have your teaching method and then you start to work with other teachers, you have to try and communicate and, and, and teach a little bit the same way in one school. Otherwise, during a concert, there's differences in, in the way they learned the songs. So that's when he started to write no, a, a method. What sí. was his method of teaching? Y yo empecé a estudiar también por mi cuenta con YouTube y informarme por todos sitios cómo poder este, mejorar mi propio sistema, ¿no? Años, yeah. ¿no? no, then he was also doing a lot of self-study to, to make sure everything was in this method he was writing. ¿no? Sí, pero después llegó el corona. So one month after this concert, there was corona. <laughs> no more locals. I could no longer teach inside, no? With groups inside. Sí. So we had to be creative again yes. and do Full classes zoom. outside in the park. Mm -hmm. That was one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, or online. Yes. <laughs> so luckily they already had a lot of background noise in the restaurant, so being in the park was a, a next level. Yes. And also... Uh, or teaching so, online. Yes. Yeah. Uh, y acá, este, entro a la website acá, ¿no? Para enseñar, ¿no es cierto? Pero para poder hacerlo... Uh, no, tanto primero el foto... Que Cuando sí. llegamos a eso. Ya, yeah, ok. Yes. So then uh, Ginger and Neil was closed. The yeah. restaurant where, where Abelo was starting his, his music school and then there was uh, no chance of continuing the same way. So we had to find a new um, a venue and this was a, a venue very close that was appeared to, that it was, there was nobody there. So again, we went to knock doors and find people that know what is going on there. Can we maybe give classes over here? Yes. And yes. we could. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh, sorry. Yes. Uh, y este se volvió nuestro nuevo local, ¿no? El local so this de... is yeah. now uh, one of the venues of the classes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but that was also the moment that Abelo was um, writing his method more and we had to present ourselves differently because we didn't have the restaurant anymore. So we started to write a new website. Yo creo que todo el mundo se cayó. Yo creo que todo el mundo, to, todo el mundo tenía que cambiar un poco cómo pensaba y, este, y, y girar a otro lado. Y yo también tenía que hacerlo. Yo, yo tenía que aceptar de que ahora tenía que ser un poco menos que antes y tenía que tratar de mantenerme para poder volver a llegar hacia, hacia, el, hacia el ritmo donde me encontraba y el camino finalmente era ahorita concentrarme en preparar el material, ¿no? Justamente donde estamos. Yeah, so the, it was of course the time of corona, so everybody was in a, a mind game, like what, how, what can we or cannot, we cannot do. So for Abelo, it was also a time to start to concentrate more on writing. Mm -hmm. What is his method? Then writing a new website, writing what is exactly what I do in my school of music. And of course, we, because we created the community, it was not too difficult to start in a, in a, you know, a different venue where you would maybe not be seen so much as in Ginger and Neil. Um, 
Hey, Joey. Joey es el hijo de Body. So it's her son teaching in school as So that's also when when we started to realize what is exactly no, and that's for you all important when you want to bring something into the world is what exactly is it that I believe in, mm -hmm. and what exactly is what I want to uh, others to know or to learn from me. So we had a lot of conversations, of course, and and uh, we had some experience in the years. So these are actually the the six main um, areas, so what Abelo feels that he's trying to, to bring into the world is that the sense of everybody is a musician by nature. Um, then that teaching music or learning music is best when you have a good time, no? when you're smiling. Mm -hmm. Then uh, it's good to first feel yourself as a musician and then learn the theory about uh, behind it. So it's first to feed it into your Experience. body, to have the fun, and then maybe to learn some more <laughs> theories. And, and then that you can play in a in a in a band or orchestra, even if you just had one week of classes, you play one chord. Um, and then his own uh, story that music can save your life. No, that's for Abel also very important. And very important. This is our son, by the yeah, way. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, So this is also uh, to tell people a little bit, no, uh, the school is uh, started with Abel and this is his story. And then that music doesn't know boundaries. No? There are no boundaries in music. You can play even though you're not speaking the same language. You, you can't play the language of music, although you're from different cultures. And that's what he experienced himself, coming to the Netherlands, not speaking Dutch, not speaking English, just speaking Spanish and finding very few people speaking Spanish, that he could start to play the guitar and people would join and he would have contact and, and fun with people that he couldn't even talk to. Yes, ok, ok. Seguimos con esta parte de acá, ¿no? Sí. Y acá, ya. So this is one of the, the ways he did promotion then on the window. No? Mm -hmm. Just yes. uh, free, finding free people. Uh, this is Adrian. This is Adrian from the new place. Stein. Oh, yeah, ok. Entonces, en este momento del corona, yo este, me concentré en las raíces, ¿no? las partes de abajo de la administración, eh, programación, HTML, estudiar cursos de marketing, estudiar, y uno de esos fue el gamification, ¿no? el, estudié el curso, curso de gamification para empresas y escuelas. ¿no? So, the corona time was also a good time to do some self-study. So, he studied marketing and in, uh, all online and he studied gamification. Yes. So how to make the classes in a way that people feel rewarded all the time, especially children. That's why they love gaming, because there are levels and that you, you can can get things on the way. And, and he studied, or he is an artist also, a painter and, and, and digital art, but he studied uh, more of uh, how to uh, create art in the computer. So Avelo, in that sense, Avelo is, is self-made because he can, he can make his own website, he can uh, make his own art, he can make his own flyers. He, and that's, of course, a very big advantage if you want to present yourself because you need to present your material. Yes. But this is uh, when he started to create art and combine it with his music. Entonces, acá este, eh, creamos eh, una, una website en paralelo. 
que se llama studenten.abeloperu.com, solamente para los estudiantes. So that's when uh, we started to make a, an online, uh, an area online for students to be able to uh, log in oh. and uh, study online as well. Of course, because a lot of things became online in the time of Corona, this was also to help students to, to continue their classes online. So um, apart from the physical material, because normally you, you study your classes with a, a book and there you, you do your classes. For a battle, in the beginning he didn't even, even use a book. He just taught whatever he knew and he wrote on the way some material, he gave some stencils and things. And now he started to create like a, a, a follow-up in how what to learn first and then what to learn afterwards and then to write it into sort of first draft of a book, music book. And then to, apart from that, have a website where you could uh, access the classes you did. Uh, yes. There it is. So every student gets a login for this website. And in the, I can show you this one. This is the level one. So there's the a level one parango. book now and mm -hmm. a level one on the website. If you go to the website, open the field of say. And then, um, Look, the first page of the book is the page you open in the website. <laughs> and the numbers correspond to levels, and within a level you have like four classes. Yes. Si tú vas al primero, por ejemplo, está ya una información. Tú entras acá y has aprendido, por ejemplo, este. Y acá tenemos este guitarra, ukelele, en keyboard. So now you can choose your instrument. So every instrument is is using the same method and the same uh, passes through the. Yes. Class. Si tú vas, por ejemplo, al eh, tú has aprendido con tu profesor el chuck número uno. So luego... the, the third uh, class is chuck. Esta, por favor. En el libro está acá el chuck número uno las posiciones de la mano para hacerlo es mute, mute. So eh, there's where you learn how to put your hand, how to put the fingers with, with pictures. Pero en casa los niños pueden practicar con un video. But here you can also practice with a video. También con este programa que se llama Soundslice. Es el, no sé si lo conocen. You know Soundslice? Yeah. Is anyone in here familiar with Soundslice? It's Sound very Slice? good. Es el mejor que he encontrado hasta ahora. Estoy it's the best uh, program to write and at the same time play the music uh, he found. So I'm going to work worked with sound size for two years now. No, for four years, huh? Yeah, four years. Sound slice or so? Sound slice. Here is the name. Sound slice. It's also it's possible f to use free, but we pay some license. Mm -hmm. 100 euro. Per month. month, it's 100 yeah. euros per month. Yeah, it's more or less. More so than it's not when you have three yeah. students. Yes. yes. But you can use it for free to uh, to practice to to read. Hello, Alemal. Here is Abelo. Behind the shock number eight, Liren Spalen, Liren Kellen, Efekai Kellen. Actually, we don't chuck Spalen. They use the chuck, but what I would do is if the Johan of the Snavens. El, eh, el programa está sincronizado con el video, entonces si quiero empezar de frente y ver cómo es el shock, presiono acá como un menú y este, se cambia el lugar. Okay. Sí es, sí es. Y es también es posible este, empezar un ejercicio. En tu edificio es el ejercicio. En tu edificio, go and shock. Go and shock. 
and go and shoot. Sí. Hmm. Eh, es posible también hacer eh, eh, algo mucho más complicado, como transposiciones. There's este, lots of options in this program on sí. how to show the, eh, the only sí. video. Only sí. Por eso no es, no es importante. Uh -huh. Y aparte de eso también tenemos las canciones. Que, que so there's the niveles. different levels of the book and then there's a huge library of, of uh, songs you can find here. And the songs, if you uh, enter a song, you can see in uh, all the different levels you can play it in. So you can play it as a beginner or you can play it more advanced. For example. So there's, there's one, two, wow. three, just the solo. Or you can play in ukulele. Sí, por ejemplo, en el nivel 1, tú aprendes los acordes de este. El do lo aprendes solamente, el sei lo aprendes solamente con un dedo, ¿no? con las so primeras first tres you play cuerdas. A, a, the short C, sí. uh, just one finger. Entonces aquí está, en el nivel 1, está igual sincronizado con un solo dedo y el, y el, y el otro también, del nivel 1. ¿no? Mm -hmm. Fácil. Los niños pueden encontrar su nivel fácilmente. So the, the more, most they learn. Pero si te vas al nivel 2, encuentras con el, el do y el, este, y el la los acordes normales, plus un efecto pequeño que hay acá. Ya no es igualito que en el primero, ¿no? So in the second level you learn more rhythm and... Y si te vas al nivel 3, Encuentras con esto completo. And there is more com like the whole song, playing the whole song. Esto no lo podemos hacer acá, entonces tenemos cuatro personas que están en Perú trabajando solamente para preparar canciones. So I have four musicians in Peru working uh, for, to, to prepare all these materials in the website. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm. Preguntas? Right. Sorry, questions? Questions? No? Does okay. this work for all levels? Like, what, what if the student gets, you know, more advanced or something and you maybe want to, to make them, give them more like of their own... More information. Yeah, more information. Yes, yes. Uh, for example, um, no? so many... Well, of course, you as a, as a teacher, you're free to, to always go also a little bit more with the students, no? With their interest or... Of course, you can... Uh, oh, yeah. In this library of songs, you can together choose a song that is appropriate for the student. But uh, in case of a concert, there's like six or eight songs. Everybody is playing. Yeah. So then you do these songs in the level that you are yeah. able to play. Yes. For example, uh, uh, Enter eh, Sandman eh, 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 hizo eh, un riff, ¿no? Slow. Y de level 2 of 3, no level 2, es. Es. esto más, lo hacen los profesores de Perú. Is with all mute here, the other note. And five. So every level is, is increasing difficulty. I have five. But you can play together. Five is all. Five. Five is all. Yeah, that's the whole song. Nice. <laughs> nice, huh? And it's possible play in combination. Je hebt nog heel weinig tijd, yeah. maar okay. misschien moet je nu gaan kiezen wat je wil yeah. vertellen. Oké, okay. uh, luego eh, docente Junior, pero yeah. creo que yes. vamos a... Oh. Ahí, hier. Maybe just to finalize, this was the, the concert in July. Um, also a benefit to the Adel Peru Foundation. We, this time we were in Club Panama. Uh, I don't know if you know, it's, not, it's very close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and it's good to dance. 
Yeah, <laughs> it's a nice, nice club. It's normally it's more a night club, but we were there in the daytime. <laughs> Pero primero teníamos que hacer un, este, un ensayo, lo hicimos en un gimnasio. <laughs> There's 100 students, and there's the audience, which is about 500 people. Mm -hmm. And we, we got 5,000 euros for the Adelope Foundation. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. 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 And a lot of creative solutions, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's very, oh, yeah, that's very impressive. Never, never give up. And yes. uh, that's also our message to you. Never and a lot of up. passion. We always try to be creative and finding a new way to continue. Sí. And, uh, Por ejemplo, ahora he descubierto que los niños pueden tener su diploma cuando avanzan con la cantidad de acordes o información. Y los diplomas los hemos hecho como tarjetas, se llaman diplomas. So the, the students receive uh, small diplomas every time they, they grow and they know no more uh, chords. They receive a, a small card, which is a, you know, we get certificates like this, but they get small cards and they uh, have more and more on the way. So mm. it's like a collection. Yeah. I just call it the Pikachu or the other two. Yes. Yeah. Like, like those cars you can get in the supermarket. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they, they, it's a way that they are, you know, uh, they, they feel they passed the level and also they can show the parents, like, I did it, no? I mean, the next uh, level. Sí. And, uh, Pero lo que pueden aprender acá, no? Lo que pueden aprender es que, este, número uno, hay que sacrificar lo que estaba muy grande y que parece que va bien si, si es que tienes el enfoque para algo que crees que es un mejor camino y al reducir puedes crecer. So one of the messages he wants to bring uh, across is that when you grow there are times that you need to uh, slow down and again maybe have less for one smaller time to grow again bigger because every time you try to hold what you have 
but for example, not teaching in the whole of Amsterdam, it was too much of traveling, then reduce it and then grow again. And, and also with Corona, it was of course a difficult time, but then to grow in, in making more materials, to make it more fun, and then grow again afterwards. El segundo mensaje es que eh, cuando, ti, cuando la cosa está muy difícil, cuando la cosa está muy complicada, lo que tienes que hacer es volver a la raíz y perfeccionar tu raíz, estudiar o trabajar en la parte administrativa, en la parte aburrida que nunca quieres mirar. ¿no? Yeah, and sometimes also to, to go back to your roots and, and to make it more perfect, what, you, what your message is or what you have learned and also sometimes go to the more administrative area, which is very boring, but to make sure that the message is communicated correctly. Yeah. Y tercero, que si, no has nacido para hacer una sola cosa en la vida. Entonces, si, si, yo soy músico, pero yo ahora estaba estudiando marketing y estaba estudiando otras opciones en paralelo, como cómo diseñar perfectamente un libro. He tenido que aprender cómo hacer todo esto exactamente en todas partes, o cómo diseñar el sticker o la página web. So yo, he, he also, uh, apart from no, growing in the classes, he had to grow uh, studying marketing, studying uh, the, the Design, design, studying, no, programmation. Even, uh, programmation, or learn to use uh, programs of design no, on the computer. Hay que aprender más. Hay que aprender de otros lados. So I, I really like that you said you were studying gamification. 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 Yeah. So it's a parallel yeah. kind of thing, but it helped you to make yeah. the, the teaching more, more rewarding and interesting. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's the psychology. Yeah, the psychology. psychology. De, de, del juego de, vi, de video, yeah, de yeah. game, para poder este, crearte caminos para llegar, ¿no? yeah. crear roles y caminos. Es para empresas y escuelas. Yeah, it's actually what many schools are using yes. already, but uh, which now he made very personal. Mm -hmm. Está en todo ahora, está en la biblioteca, está en todos sitios, está gamificado. Es, 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 por ejemplo, es, 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 es el Facebook. Si, si entras al Facebook, por ejemplo, y, este, y participas, el Facebook te da una insignia que te permite abrir de más camino con otras personas. Eso es gamificación. Yeah, everything is, is gam, uh, gamification. Now, also yes. in Facebook, in Instagram, everything mm -hmm. is, is, if you reach a certain target, you receive more, uh, a star or whatever, mm -hmm. and you can open them more. So, uh, yeah, in that sense, it's also useful if you really want to become big to study lots of different uh, areas. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Por ejemplo, el último, este, eh, oh, eso es suficiente, creo. Eso yeah, es it's enough, huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Any questions? Any questions? Any so questions? Far? Yeah. How long did it take to, to create, to bring out the, this uh, message? Is the so it's it's actually it started in 2018 so it's about four years, four years. Yeah. Four years. Yeah. It's, it's still it's still, it's still yeah it's still, it's still yeah, yeah. yeah. perfecting then, itself also of course because there's also other teachers that also feel like hmm, this is not working for me maybe yeah you can yes make it better no? yes 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 and from the beginning, you have always been working in this way? Uh, uh, in the no, this is four years, but uh, like 10 years ago, there was no material. Okay. No material. Just uh, okay. for here. And now it's here. Yeah. And you said that you have also something in Peru? Uh, when? Yeah, like uh, in Peru, there's uh, four people working for the website. To, uh, no, for, to make the sound slides, uh, 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 the songs in sound slides. But uh, also they are starting a, a school in Lima. Yeah. With the same material translated into Spanish. And that's going to be free for kids? or there's, Yeah, there's one part in the, in, that is for the foundation, it's free classes. But there's also the teachers in Peru will start to teach and then gain the no, uh, work for 
That's actually your next dream, right? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. And podemos también aprender de que cuando ayudas, este, también te va bien, ¿no? Cuando ayudas, todos, todo lo que manejas va teniendo un buen camino, ¿no? Crea buena energía. He feels that when you also are giving for free, then you receive a lot more. So it's also uh, about, you know, what can you do that you don't need to be paid for and do it to create network and to create you know, um, visibility. And then, uh, of course, uh, there are some parts that you want to get paid for. And so now it's actually, was it like, did it take a long time to actually live from the school? Like when you started to, like, because you have to invest mostly in, um, in the beginning uh, or... For us, the change became uh, in the time of Corona. Because I'm a massage therapist, I wasn't able to work in Corona time. And then we noticed that the school was growing sufficiently to sustain our family at that time mm -hmm. uh, without my income. So that was the first time we noticed, wow, we really did it. Mm -hmm. And I could, uh, of course, join Avena. I have been a big part of creating all of this because of the language first. No, I had to translate everything and try to figure out how does it work in Holland, what kind of institutions we need to call or whatever. But, uh, and in Corona time, I was not able to do my own, no, I have my own small business in, uh, as a freelancer, but I work for the, the School of Music. Now I am the administrator of all. So in that sense, I do the boring work. And <laughs> Great for a bellow. <laughs> and, and that's also, if you join forces with other people, you share the work which is also rewarding in the sense that you're not alone anymore. Yes, yeah. I, I, I talking no more with the papa and mama. I, I talking only with the, the lesson and the teachers. So I do the yeah. planning, I do the finances, I do the talking to the parents, which is of course a, a relief also sometimes to just be able to concentrate in, in material and classes. No? Yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>